Hi again. I'm working on my uh, body right now on the uh, 356. I uh, put a wash primer as you've seen on another little short I showed. Uh, the wash primer I use basically as a guide coat. It was helping me to find uh, door dings and whatnot. Even though I rolled everything, you still have little low spots that are kind of hard to find even though you're using your hand. Uh, it just kind of, you know, seeing that this car had so much uh, damage on the roof and on the sides and and uh, it was uh, I, the way it looked it looked like it was probably at Pebble Beach believe it or not it was probably be a driving range ball recovery vehicle and uh, I think everyone was trying to aim for it so you know this car when it was probably left in the field they probably uh, kids probably threw rocks at it and you know uh, stuff was probably leaned on it too and not only from the wreck so I really want to make this body as straight as possible uh, I made this tool uh, just to help me out on the roof there's a few dings on top I uh, still have to doll it out but the roof is pretty much near perfect but as you see uh, the tool I'm making is a common tool but uh, I enhanced it well, this is the tool. It's a bullseye pick. It's, you, know, you see it, Eastwood sells it, different uh, body people, uh, manufacturers uh, sell this stuff. Uh, they have only like one tip and it's just a pointer. Uh, what it does is basically bumps the dent up and uh, it's, it's great for where you can't really fill it under the fender and you're having trouble locating where the dent is. Uh, it's nice, you just put it where it needs to go and and, uh, and this will pull the dent out. But I thought, oh, that's a nice idea, but you know, I don't know how practical it is. But so, uh, some guy left a comment saying that they made their own bullseye uh, pick and they uh, have different tips. And I said, well, that's probably a good idea to have tips. So basically I made uh, different tips. This one right here, you see it's a, a dome. Uh, would be good for like rounded bodies and you just screw it on and um, That would help on the fender where it's you know, it's got a nice radius on it So this would wouldn't have any flat spots when you're pulling the dent out Also, uh, I made a, a pad. It's a hard rubber pad. It came off of a, a, a Float would be used for a tile and I just used the hard rubber for it So I basically made that so I could slide right over that and then I'll also I have make a solid uh, rubber uh, leg too, so it will hit the uh, uh, screw onto this and hit that. So I thought these little tools would be great to to accent these uh, this, uh, bullseye pick. Also, I have a, a flat piece right here uh, for flat spots and a, a dome. Uh, so I think that would help. Also, I even got a bearing and I cut it in half and just so it maybe some kind of dome in the area that's kind of tight to get the dent out. Like I said, I'm just experimenting with this thing. Uh, it seems to work pretty good. I messed around on the fender just, just a bit. And uh, it, it's nice because sometimes you're having trouble locating where you need to pop the dent out. And uh, this is pretty much foolproof. So the only problem is sometimes it's hard to get awkward to get into a place. I think this would be a nice addition for someone that uh, likes to do body work. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little demonstration. There's a little low spot right here. Uh, if you look at it, see the, you still see the primer on it. I sanded it so you see the low spot. So what I'm gonna do is I made, I used this part, this one, it's just a dome because it's round and the shape of the, the fender is round so I decided to use that. So what I'm going to do is of course you see how it lands right right there at the uh, the fork of the, the uh, tool. So I'm going to basically put that right here. Okay, I'm going to sand it, see if it goes away. a little bit better we'll keep working on it well, it's getting quite better so right here is a little spot
pretty much took most of it out. I still got to play with it a little bit. I, I could use my dolly and my hammer, but this is a good addition to use on like on the roof where I'm having problems right here. I know you can't see it, but it's got a lot closer to the rain gutter, and that's why I basically made this tool so it can work in this little section. The, this is the area where the car landed, probably when it flipped over or something fell on it. I think it flipped over just the way the accident in the front fender was tore off and the way the car probably spun and landed on the side of a hill or something. But this is uh, like an area that I'm kind of deal, dealing with right now and I want to get that fixed pretty soon. So I said, you know what, it's only going to take me a few minutes to make this tool. You can too. I mean, if you look at it, it's pretty simple. You could buy one if you could afford it, which why not just buy it? But uh, I thought, you know, I like to make my own tools. And uh, as you see, this slides over for a, for a softer blow. And also I made this too. So for the, uh, like a soft rubber. So it'd probably be good for a car that's painted that you want to just take a door thing out or something that land on the hood. Uh, again, like I said, uh, something you have hail damage and you just need to take something out uh, and without having to paint the car or getting to Bondo or, you know, you don't want to grind paint unless if you could get rid of the dent. Uh, I see these paintless dent remover guys, they're amazing. I can't imagine how they could take a dent out and you can't even see it. Uh, I've seen some incredible work out there. So here's my car. Uh, this is where I'm at right now. I'm just kind of fussing with the, the little low spots and the high spots. And uh, I'm gonna do a small skim coat of uh, body filler on here. All the hard parts are done. All the lead work is pretty much done. I'm probably gonna do a little lead work up here because of the, uh, the dent's kind of big and, and if I can't get it out, I'm probably gonna lead it. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get most of it out now with this, this uh, uh, bullseye pick. So thank you very much and God bless.